Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos uh, Forgotten. I am uh, currently in the process of heading into the gym, but I wanted to shoot this short video, a little conversational piece about um, surviving after a breakup. And I'm not talking about just a, a little simple, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend situation. I'm talking about s surviving a, re a broken relationship after you've been with that person for, you know, 10 or more years like this person has become a foundational person in your life and that person has determined to walk away or maybe you've determined that the rela the relationship is no longer for you so that's what this video is about it's about um surviving a foundational relationship breakup i say foundational because some people are just you've put you've you you've allowed them to get into this space with you and this space is um so intimate and it's so real and it's so substantial that that person has become and they may have even been your foundational piece you know like they had you they had your back they supported you they loved you they they nurtured you um they you know whatever you needed they were that person for you and then to have that person to be removed from your life it's extremely hard to kind of get back into the groove of things but this is an encouraging word to let you know that you know even though yes it's going to hurt and and we're, we have to grieve those foundational relationships but there is life after divorce there is life after separation there is life after a broken relationship and this is how i put it all together for myself is the fact that when god brought me into this world he brought me into this world alone when i leave here i'm gonna leave alone so i always allow that kind of space between me and another human being because i realize life is about choices and life is also about free will so even if you're in this union that's supposed to be there for the rest of your life the other partner or even yourself you can determine this is no longer working for me and so i'm going to sever ties or i'm going to walk away and you have to give that person that space to be to walk away and you have to understand that your life goes on even after that's done and that's why i think it's extremely important for us to love ourselves love on ourselves and give ourselves some things that we need so that we don't become totally about the other person and this is what i mean I see so many hardworking women, and I mean hardworking. I'm talking about sisters that hold it down. And um, they do what they gotta do for the betterment of their home and their family and their, their man, whatever it takes. And I applaud those women. But see, this is where we fail. When we do that for people that don't return it, or you know, they, they show you that they're changing on you, but then you still wanna be that ride or die first of all i'm admit i am not a ride or die woman i am not her i know i don't want to ride and die with you anywhere i want us to, to ride and grow and, and prosper and be well i'm not riding and dying with nobody i don't know where they get that term from and why the black woman has to be a ride or die no ladies we do not have to be a ride or die we need to have a partner that's reciprocating, that's loving us, that's covering us, and, and that's going to protect us along the way. We shouldn't be the, the one that's doing that because a lot of women take on that role. It's like we're mixing roles. So we're becoming the ride or die, but is he the ride or die? As soon as times get a little shaky or things change, he want to bounce and leave, but you've been that ride or die. I'm telling women today, stop claiming that because this isn't about struggle love. Enough with that struggle love stuff. Enough with us proving ourselves to these men. If, if a man can't see your value just by the way that you carry yourself, how you take care of your business, how you treat other people, and he still wants more proof because he wanna take you through hell and back, he is not the one. He is not the one. So this message is for sisters all over. Do not lose yourself in a man because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're all you got. And that's why I've started this, this, um, 
encouragement and celebration of womanhood and sisterhood because we really are all we have at the end of the at the end of the day our children grow up we nurture them we love them we support them we even give them our last and then at the end of the day they grow up and they go off and they do their thing with their family or their husband and then if our men decide that um they they're tired or they want somebody else they they go off and they start a whole new life and we get we're giving all of ourselves to all these people and then they decide to do this then what do we have left what save a little bit for yourself lady ladies save a little bit for yourself a little self-love a little self-worth a little care and concern be kind to yourself speak kindly to yourself so what even for the people that knew because i was one of those people when i made that decision uh to be with somebody that i knew was that's not what god wanted for me but for whatever reason i had to have that person and trust me i learned some valuable um some valuable lessons in that relationship and so we have to ask ourselves uh, before we even enter into the relationship, is this somebody that God would want me with, or is this somebody is or is this somebody my flesh wants? Because a lot of times we make decisions on being in a relationship based off of fleshly desires and superficial, um, surface-based stuff that people show us. Like you know, they're funny or they're smart they're handsome you know they have a, a nice body and they have all these things they're you know we're for the pe women that make lists they're chick you know they have everything on your list but do they have what you need internally in your soul like can they feed you uh spiritually you know emotionally can they feed you if if, if everything is just so surface based but honey you're gonna in, you you're gonna end up so empty at the end of their relationship you're gonna be like why did i do that so this is just um, a challenge, a challenge to women all over the world that, that decides to look at this video, whoever decides to look at it. No matter who you're with or who you're trusting your heart with, always save some of that for yourself. Always leave space somewhere to where you can recover if this person does walk out of your life. It won't be an end all. It'll just be that our time is up. You know, it was some great moments there. Celebrate those moments. Grieve the hurt and the pain if that person has caused you any. Forgive them and move on. And just this is the, the way that I look at it is no matter how much I may have loved the person, how much I thought that was the one or that was my soulmate, I felt like if God allowed him to walk out of my life, then God has somebody better for me. And that's how I was always able to get over a breakup or a heartbreak because I was like, well, that just meant he wasn't the one. And then I stayed encouraged because I know, well, if he wasn't the one, I know that God has somebody just for me. And I'm not going to give up on love because somebody, you know, couldn't either see my worth or we just weren't fit. A lot of people, we come together with people and we just don't, we're not cohesive. We don't fit. Sometimes more than not, one partner is putting in more work than the other. I mean, but that's all done. Like a lot of times, some of the stuff we go to go through, we see the warning signs way before we have children with these people, way before we marry these people, way before we buy houses with these people. There's like red flags going off all over the place. But because our flesh, because we're so lustful, we have to have that person, including their heartbreak. And I'm telling you, ladies, now it's time out for that. It's time for us to slow down, understand our worth and really get to know and decide and decipher if this is the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with or even if they just they may not even deserve your time but we won't never know that if we're just looking at the surface if we're in our flesh all the time we're gonna miss maybe what God really has for us so uh, this is an encouragement to encourage people that may be going through a foundational breakup with someone that they've been with for a long time i'm here to tell you ladies and sisters that if god allowed that relationship to end <coughs> excuse me 
um, my allergies. I haven't taken my allergy pill and I know better. But if God has allowed that a person to walk out of your life or for whatever reason you decided you don't want any more pain uh, and, and you're, you're done, then you just, you, you have to know that there's somebody better for you. You have to know that this isn't an end all, that uh, your life goes on even without that foundational person. And I encourage you to love on yourself a little bit more, to take care of yourself, to speak kindly to yourself and to do work. I mean, and, and I'm going to, I'm touching, I want to touch on this topic too, because a lot of times, you know, we're so good at saying all men are dogs. They're no good. They just want to come into our lives and use us and hurt us. But who's picking these dogs? Come on now, ladies, let's get real. Who's picking these dogs? If that's all you've ever had was a dog, was a man that would go out and cheat with anything and anyone, a man that didn't have any moral compass he did anything he wanted to do when he wanted to do it i mean you pick this brother so let's be real with it we got to check ourselves too we got to understand if there's something subconscious in our mind telling us that we don't deserve good men that's why we want the bad boy you know think about that why do you want the the bad boy the one that's rough around the edges versus the smart intelligent nice guy there's a reason behind that and it ain't just physical it's deeper than that i had to figure that out myself i had to figure it out you know are we picking people similar to our fathers what is it you know and i won't go too deep into that because i want to cut this video short but I'm seeing some things transpire and I just want to encourage my sisters because I've been there. You know, I've been the one that was hurt and I had to let go of a foundational uh, relationship for the betterment of myself. And I had to grieve that relationship and it takes a little time. Um, but as long as you're doing it the right way, you're praying about it, you're going to your source, God, which is God is your source. You're going to him and you're asking him to purge all of these toxic feelings and toxic thoughts and hurt and pain out of your heart so you can have a clean heart and you're going to forgive all the wrongs even forgive yourself because i mean we have to be culpable in some of, especially some of these bad relationships this, that we've been in i'm talking about bad we have to find we have to be culpable in picking that person and why did we pick that person we have to deal with those issues ladies because if we don't we're gonna keep picking the same brother over and over and over again and we're gonna keep getting hurt and i tell you what god did not put the black woman on this earth to suffer her whole life that is a lie from the enemy that's why i say stop talking about you or ride or die because i tell you what a brother take your I wanted to say something else. He'll take you there every time. Well, you said you were ride or die. Stop claiming that. We're precious. We're God's gifts to the world. We're 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 solid. We're we're most of us are loyal and we're strong women and we're creative and we're beautiful and we're confident. We got all of these valuable traits within us. Why do we have to seek down so low to accommodate some of these men? No, keep your standards high, regardless of what the world says. You want somebody that's going to know how to treat you and love you and compliment you. And so that's what this is about. It's, it's about us raising our standards up and doing our work. Because I don't care how perfect we try to pretend to be. If we're constantly in these abusive relationships, in these one-sided relationships with these men that are cheaters and whores, and I'm gonna call them what they are, and liars and thieves, we have to check ourselves and say, why is that the type of man that I'm attracting to me? And why? Because you can attract people to you, but you, you make the choice of whether to entertain them or not. Why am I entertaining these men? Check yourself deal with yourself work on yourself love yourself forgive yourself and move forward so i'm challenging my sisters today to look within and to figure out where in our own lives that we are poisonous what is it about us our toxic traits 
that are attracting these toxic men to us if that's the case sometimes you know somebody can walk away from you maybe it wasn't anything toxic about them maybe it was something toxic about you that you got to check that you got to take care of we're not always right ladies and it's time we figure that out because guess what i tell you what while we're sitting up here making all these mistakes with the wrong men where we're having kids with these with these men and if these men are crazy or thrown off or they got a lot of a, a lot of darkness inside of them guess what you're you're passing that right on down to your progeny you're passing it right on down to your children and then they have to go through all of the same crap that you have to go through because it's a learned behavior well guess what just like we can learn a behavior we can unlearn it so it's time for us to unlearn a lot of this stuff that we got in us y'all it's time for us to heal it's time for us to grow i appreciate y'all if you haven't already i'm going to upload this to youtube i always post it on facebook first but i'm gonna upload it to youtube click and subscribe to my channel and i appreciate you i love you remember to speak kindly to yourself and do something good for yourself remember to save a little bit of love for you because we're so good at loving everybody else i love you guys talk to you soon bye bye